All right, guys. So today we're going to check out a very interesting piece of tech. But before we actually get into that, I do want to tell kind of a backstory. I used to work in an electronic store uh, that actually kind of sold appliances and a bunch of different things. And I was there at a time where flat screen TVs were starting to just hit the market. And the first one that I ever saw was the Sharp Aquios or Aquos. I don't even remember how to say it, but I believe it was either a 13 inch or a 19 inch TV. And it was retailing in a little over a thousand dollars. And honestly, the picture wasn't even that great, but it was the fact that the technology was there to make this screen so small, so flat, because at that time, really the competition were TVs that had the fat backs. They just took up a lot of space. Uh, so it was just all completely new and people weren't familiar with flat screens. But since then, the price has come down on flat screens where it's kind of unbelievable how cheap you can get a big flat screen TV. And then the different ways that companies have found uh, ways to just utilize these flat screens. I mean, they're in cars, we've seen them on handheld gaming devices and uh, different things like that where it's kind of getting pretty crazy. And the product we're gonna talk about today, which is the Apollo Sun Pack Go, is probably the most interesting flat screen or interesting way that I've seen a company take advantage of this yet. And basically what it is, is a briefcase that's not small because the screen that's housed inside this briefcase is a 27 inch flat screen monitor. Now it's a 1080p monitor, it's not 4K or anything like that, but it also has Android 12 built into it as well. So it's touch screen. The monitor on this actually swivels so that you can use it in landscape and portrait mode. Uh, and on the briefcase itself, it has different inputs and outputs. And there's so many things that I did not expect to actually even be able to use this monitor for. In fact, when I got it in, I didn't really know what I was gonna use it for. I didn't know how I was gonna be able to take advantage of it. And again, I was quite surprised in the so many vast different ways that I was able to use this. Now, this is a Kickstarter funded project. This is not something that's readily available at the moment, but the retail price on this is going to be $999. But because it's a Kickstarter funded project, uh, they have an early bird price where you can actually get it for $699. And it's supposed to start shipping next month in February. Uh, so it's not far out from being able to start actually getting these in your hand, but do keep in mind it is a Kickstarter funded project. Uh, so it really just kind of comes down to the company that's doing this. And Apollo Sun is a company, uh, I kind of checked their history. They've made tablets, they make digital signs. So this definitely fits the market uh, of what they're used to doing. So let's go ahead and talk about what this is. So it is a 27 inch monitor that is running Android 12. Like I said, it is touchscreen. Uh, it has 128 gigabytes of storage built in so you can load it up with movies and different apps and things like that. It does also run on eight gigabytes of RAM, which in most tablet cases, you're gonna be able to game on this device. Uh, it'll definitely be able to handle a bunch of different things. You're not really gonna have to worry about stutter and lag and things like that. I mean, I never actually ran into that while using this tablet. Now, some other things is it's also using Wi-Fi 6. It has Bluetooth 5.2. And from the audio standpoint of things, it has two, two and a half inch low frequency speakers or just regular speakers and two three quarter inch tweeters. So it has a surprisingly decent amount of volume and some pretty good sound overall. <laughs> also has four built-in mics, uh, so if you're going to use it for gaming, you can have the mics actually just built into the case if you're not going to use headphones or a headset or anything like that. And I feel like the briefcase has this really nice modern look to it. When I opened it and took it out of the box, I mean, it just it had this cool look to it. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be white. It kind of has this pinkish cream color. On the front, it has four little dots. This actually lets you know the battery life that's on the briefcase or the screen. 
Battery life, it says that you can get about eight to 10 hours if you're just gonna use it for like Bluetooth music listening. Uh, you can expect to get about six hours if you're gonna use it for you know gaming or videos or just general use. So battery life is not bad. If you're going to take this camping, six hours is plenty of time. Obviously, it's more than enough time to watch uh, a couple of movies, maybe even three movies. Uh, it's definitely plenty of time to game on this device. And what surprised me, speaking of gaming, is how awesome it is to game on here. Now, I loaded the Xbox Game Pass and the NVIDIA GeForce app onto here because I am uh, subscribed to both of those, and I was able to take advantage of cloud gaming without even having to plug anything into it at all. So just as a device as itself and the ability to switch it into portrait mode, uh, you can take advantage of apps that are made for like pinball. You can play pinball in a basically up and down orientation and it feels like a pinball machine. Uh, and again, everything looks great. The colors are really good. Uh, it is a 1080p monitor. So again, it doesn't have the crisp of a 4K monitor. So if you are used to a 4K monitor, which I am, that's what my computer monitor is, that's what my TV is. Uh, on 1080p, if, especially if you're gonna be up close, you're going to see some pixels on what it is that you're watching. Now, as far as the build quality and the weight, the weight of this thing, it's not light. It comes in at around 28 pounds. Uh, which makes it pretty heavy, but again, you have a monitor and speakers, and you also have batteries and different components built into the case. Uh, it also comes with the power cable, which it has compartments in the briefcase to house uh, not only the power cable, but also the remote that it comes with. On the briefcase, you also have a power button and a volume rocker, so you don't actually have to use the remote uh, to be able to turn it on, uh, which it turns on the second that you open up the briefcase. Uh, but also just, again, being able to control the volume right up there and not have to have the remote, it's just nice. Now, speaking of the inputs and outputs and the different things that you can do, uh, on the back is where your power plug, power input is located. On the side, uh, once you open up the flap, which I am gonna say it's kind of a pain in the ass to get this flap open, but I've always kind of had issues with getting these type of flaps open. But once you do, uh, you have the battery switch, so you can just turn it off altogether so that it's not eating battery life, even while it's just sleeping. Uh, you have an HDMI input, you have a regular USB-A input, you have two USB-C inputs, one of which you can use to take advantage of plugging a laptop in or plugging your phone as long as it has that uh, video out capabilities. I mean, if you have a Pixel device, it obviously does not work here. You can plug in devices even using the HDMI port like the Steam Deck and like the Nintendo Switch. And so instead of gaming on a five to seven inch display, you can game on a 27 inch screen, which again, makes all the difference in the world. And you can use a Bluetooth controller just paired to the monitor or you can plug in a controller, which is what I like to do. I like to cut down any kind of lag that I could possibly have. Uh, so again, I just found me plugging my controller straight into the inputs that I had on the side. And another thing is you can use the USB-A port and plug it into your phone to be able to not only charge your phone, uh, but you can also tether it and use your phone's connection. So again, if you're gonna be out camping or going to be away from your house, uh, you can tether to your mobile device and use that signal so that you have a connection on the screen itself. Now, another thing is you can also connect the monitor to your phone using Bluetooth and basically use the speakers as Bluetooth speakers. And it allows it to kind of show on the display this vinyl record turning. Uh, so it gives you something to visually look at while you're playing something. So I guess like at parties or if you're just kind of sitting around a campfire like hippie style, you can have this display going while you're listening to whatever it is you're listening to and you know mixing the bluetooth speaker with the gaming side of things with being able to watch movies and again if you're a teenager it's convenient you can kind of move this from room to room you can flip the screen and actually take advantage of watching you know things on tiktok and instagram everything that's made to take advantage of being in a portrait style screen you don't have it just cutting off things to the left to the right it's another one of those things where i just found myself like you know damn there's so many different ways 
to use this. Now, is this going to be for everybody? Absolutely not. If you are somebody that doesn't travel often, or if you're somebody you know that you're in your office or your room gaming on your monitor that you already have, why would you need something like this? You, you really wouldn't, but it really comes down to if you really will use this in as many different ways as you think. I mean, yeah, it gives you the ability to take advantage of all of these different things, but is it beneficial to you? And I think that's kind of the case with any electronic or tech product or maybe just any product in general. I mean, something can sound amazing. And in some cases it is. This is one of those that I feel like actually lives up to whatever hype that they're trying to push. Uh, some marketing things don't really make sense, but I tested out the different things that they say that this can do. And the speakers are impressive. There's actually some low end. So gaming on it was fantastic actually. Uh, the refresh rate on it, everything was smooth. I gotta say that it's probably about 60 hertz. I don't think this is a 120 or 140 hertz display. I couldn't find any specifics on that, but just based off what I'm used to seeing already, I think it's right around 60 hertz. Everything had smooth transitions. I didn't have any stutter or lag with using Android 12. Now it is their own like custom skinned version of Android 12. Uh, so it kind of gives you a different type of home screen. But if you're used to using Android or honestly even using an iOS device, it's basically a huge smartphone. But the capabilities of plugging in handheld devices, which I have, and plugging in a Galaxy phone, which allows you to have decks on a display, and being able to you know, plug in a wireless keyboard and a mouse, you could use this as like a desktop setup. You can use this as a gigantic laptop if you wanted to. You can use it as an all-in-one gaming thing. You, you could use the cloud services, not even have to have this plugged into things. And that's the way I like to take advantage of it. And, and movies and everything just looked great on this display. So I'm sold. I'm actually sold on a device that I really didn't see myself being that interested in in the first place. Uh, I, I thought it was cool. I thought there were some cool features about it. I didn't really know how I would use it, but testing it in all the different ways is definitely a conversation piece. When people come over, the first thing that I say is you have to check out this briefcase and what it can do. Now, one thing that I do want to point out though, uh, the build quality, although I feel like it's great, the material, of the briefcase, although it feels like plastic and it may be, it picks up every little ding or thing that you might bump it into. So although you may be traveling with this, I accidentally just barely bumped it against the table and there's a mark on the corner I cannot get off. I've sat something on top of it and just like slightly moved it and it seems to pick up things like scratches very easily. I mean, I think if I were to try to describe the material, it reminds me of like those folding tables, like from school, those big white tables that could fold in half that you would unfold for like parties and things like that. Uh, the top of this essentially kind of feels like one of those tables. And if you've ever seen those tables, you've seen all the scratches and marks and things that it has on it. So kind of keep in mind, that's probably what the briefcase is gonna end up looking like over time. But guys, that's my video on the Apollo Sun Pack Go. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.